You know, I can't feel sorry. I love reading about this Kelly Ripa and Michael Strahan thing. I think Michael Strahan has is got a great personality. I think he's done great for himself. I don't think he's a good fit for uh Come on, America, right there a little more. You know, it's funny. I only watch CBS because I love Charlie Rose. And I feel that that's, you know, I don't feel like it's dumbed down or anything. Well, you know, he's not a serious journalist. I think he knows it too. But, he, you know, it brings out of energy. But Kelly Ripa now, they said Michael Rogue and Ann Curry, their friend. Kelly Ripa makes like $20 million a year, has one of the greatest jobs in the world. She gets paid like $20 million to do an hour, five hours a week of working. I mean, I know there's research and all that stuff and everything, but it's getting paid to be on television and making a shitload of money does not constitute you becoming this like diva. And they said they don't get along on set. And they said she's a, I, who knows if any of it's true because, you know, this is all hearsay anyway. But it's amazing how all these people, the egos of them, you know, you realize, you know, it's take a step back, realize where you came from when you had nothing and now you ever, and they, oh, well, you know, I've earned, you know what? You are making monopoly money. So much money. You can do whatever you want. The perks are out of control. You are on TV every day. I mean, people, would, I give my left arm for that. I don't know. I think you, people, we don't appreciate what we have. And when I hear stuff like this, I want to throw up. Look, you know, look look at, uh, you know, she just look at uh, Kathleen Gifford. You know, hey, she's doing an hour with Hoda at uh, 10 o'clock on NBC where it's like a freaking, uh, it's like cocktail hour. And she's having a good time, you know. You have to realize, you know, you have to, you know, the glass is always half full. It's never half empty. And when you're making that kind of money, it's just, it's, it's mess. It's, oh, I'm just stunned when I'm, take a chill pill. You know, go away for a couple of days, come back, go to work, be a professional. You're getting paid. And then maybe sometimes you don't like everybody you, 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 you work with, whatever. The guy was telling me tonight, they went into the, we had a sitter, oh, Passover. Went to a house and there's Steeler fans, a lot of Steeler fans, like they, they, a lot of tons of all over the place. But the interesting thing he said, they went to Bill Cowher's office when he was coach of the Steelers, and in his office he had framed his first check. I think it was his first check, one of his checks when he played with the Kansas City Chiefs. It was like for I said, how much was it? He said it was like eight hundred dollars. And he played in the eighties when they didn't make the money. You know, I mean that's a thing. You know. And look at him now. He's making a ton of money. He loves, you know, he didn't go back to coaching because he, he's much happier doing what, you know, come on, he's on television. It's a less, lot less stress, a lot less travel. And, uh, you know, he's commercials, everything. You know, he's uh, he's uh, it's like his own little uh, corporation, whatever we want. You know, he's, he's, he's got an idea. He won, he won his Super Bowl and he, you know, he got, you know, hey. And Kelly Ripa, you know, we, you know, should probably show up. But I'm saying, when I hear people like this, I hear like actors saying, "Oh, you know, I really don't want to play this role. I want to be seen as a serious." You are making a ton of money. You could do so much good with it. And I don't ever want to hear you complain, man. I can't, can't even. I haven't got an acting job in two freaking years. And now when I hear these people complain and all that, I'm like, really? It drives me nuts. It just does. Look at this movie called Keanu. Look at these two guys. They are doing a major. They're working all the time. Because they have, look at The Rock. Rock is working all the time. He is turning. He is. He is working all the time. He is. He knows. He knows where he came from, and he's like, I am gonna fucking. I am gonna bust my ass, and I'm gonna be out there, and I'm gonna, whatever. I'm gonna keep working. You know, Samuel Jackson, man. It's all about the love, man. It's about the work. It should be always about the work. Get the egos out of the way. Show up for work. You should look at your pay. You should look at your checking account and be like, you know what? But eh. I guess it's easier on the outside. I don't have any of that shit. So it's easy for me to say it. That shit just drives me crazy. Drives me crazy. Unbelievable. Chris Evans. Oh, I'd rather be directing. Dude, you're playing Captain America. Captain America. He was complaining. Oh, well, it's my true love. Dude, you're playing Captain America. You know, people would be would, would kill to have that role. Jesus. All right. I'm rambling. I got to go to bed. I got to be up in like freaking three hours for work. All right, peace out.